in this video we will learn about the answer of a very important question another question and which is that why myopia is called nearsightedness and why hypermetropia is called the farsightedness so before learning about the farsightedness and the nearsightedness we must have some basic knowledge about the refractive errors and the far point as you know that there are three different types of the refractive errors the first one is called the hypermetropia and in hypermetropia the light rays will focused behind the retina due to deficient in the plus power right and if i want to treat if i want to manage the hyperopic eye i will suggest i will recommend the plus lenses right which are converging lenses they will converge the light rays and the light rays would fall on the sensitive layer of the retina and if we talk about the myopia in the case of the myopia the light rays will fall in front of the retina right and if i want to treat the myopia then i would suggest i would recommend the minus lenses and the minus lenses are the diverging lenses so the light rays which are converged in front of the retina they will diverged on the sensitive layer of the retina and now we will discuss about the far point in different refractive errors in case of hypermetropia as you know that in hypermetropia there is deficiency of the plus power so due to this deficiency in plus power the far point of the hyperopic eye would be beyond the infinity and we will consider it behind the eye because we are unable to put that far point on screen so that's why the far point of a hyperopic eye would be behind the eye so due to the deficiency of the plus power the far point would be behind the eye so we can say the hyperopic patient is somehow comfortable at distance if we compare it with myopia not with emetropic patient sorry emetropic person right so our hyperopic patient is comparatively comfortable at distance if we compare it with myopia so that's why a hyperopic patient is called far sighted patient right and the hyperopia is called the far sightedness and now we will discuss about the myopia now in case of myopia as you know that in myopia there is excess of plus power and there is increase in the anterior posterior diameter of the eyeball the axial length is increased in the myopia and the plus power is increased in myopia so that's why due to increase in the plus power in the eyeball the far point of the myopic eye would be nearest to the eye in between the patient's eye and the optical infinity right so the myopic eye is comparatively comfortable at reading or near distance so that's why myopia is called the near sightedness and now we will learn that what would be the far point of a myopic patient if he has one diopter of myopia that so we have a formula that d is equal to 1 over f where d is diopteric power and f is the distance the far point so we required far point so formula would be f is equal to 1 over d and we have a myopic patient with power minus 1 so now we will find the far point we will put the values so one is constant and one diopter is the power of myopia so we will convert and the one would be 100 now it it's in centimeter and i will solve it the answer would be 100 centimeter so the far point of a myopic patient which has power of minus 1 his far point would be at 100 centimeter and if the patient has minus 2 of myopia the formula is the same f is equal to 1 over d we will put the values 1 over 2 diopter of myopia so we will convert it into centimeter and it would be 100 1 would be 100 so the answer would be 50 so if the patient has myopia of minus 2 diopters his or her far point would be at 50 cm near to the eye hope this is clear and now if you want to learn about the subjective refraction you can watch these videos 
and if you want to learn about the cells and the layers of the retina you can watch these videos and if you want to learn about the aqueous humor production drainage and circulation you can watch these videos and if you want to learn about the pinhole you can go for this video